All right, where were we? Um, here, this is the underquilt for the uh, hammock. Uh, really astonishing how warm it remains. Um, I haven't tried it out in the snow yet, but uh, I will highly consider it to do it once we get out again. Right? This is that. Uh, the next thing, ah yeah, the chair I'm sitting on. Uh, very comfy, I don't have to sit uh, in, in the dirt, I don't have to build anything, um, which, is, which is really good, right? So I can sit half comfortable un until I'm actually building a seat. And it turns out that uh, it comes to the size of this. So that's, that's all it is. It fits perfectly. The bag is attached to the chair. Uh, can you see that? Yeah. It's attached to the chair. It's not super heavy. It's okay if I don't want to carry it. Leave it in my car, however. Uh, good item to have. Very comfortable and great for any lawn parties. Um, there will be one uh, in two days at your house. Uh, bring your own beer. Okay, uh, next item. Talking about hammocks, that's the one. Um, I like the color, it's, it's, it's not bad. Uh, comes with all those straps, hooks, extensions. Uh, be careful, it doesn't like fire either. So think about where you put your fire in the hammock. And um, it has a bug net on it. So, and it's super light. It's really super light. Uh, has a bug net on it so you don't get eaten up by mosquitoes in the middle of the night. Nobody likes to wake up like the guy from or the alien from Lilo and Stitch, right? Bzz, vibrating space. So, what's the next? Food. That is a. That's the cooker that, or the stove that's falling apart right now. Ah. So, I always have to be careful and how to put it in here and how to put it together but it's actually three items and they stack each other so you have a fire and you have a fire and you can put something on top to heat it up um, and you can even use it when there's a fire ban because it's considered an enclosed uh, fire pit so this item comes with a cool mesh uh, I haven't used it yet, but I probably will uh, in the near future. So the, the only problem is it makes freaking sound. Really annoying, right? So you put on it, you put on a coffee cup. This smells and looks like fire. Yeah, you see that? Crazy, eh? So percolator, uh, coffee. Last time I used it was the first time I used it. Uh, but it will not be the last time. Um, put some coffee in there, I melted some ice, put some water in there. Uh, great device, not too shabby. Uh, the only thing I would like to um, I would think about or build is just a grip that you don't burn your fingers all the time when you, when you grab it. Other than that, great device, can't complain about it, right? Um, keep it away from whatever it might touch at home because you have half the fire pit in there yeah, on it so uh, yeah but not not too shabby not too shabby good what else uh, uh, this is for this is just a bunch of uh, rope tied together uh, bundled up together um, with a cool trick if I remember right you or well, I did that and the cool part is, it's super long, right? But how do you get it shorter? You tie it up. And then it should untie itself somehow. If I did that right. Yeah. So, let's see. So, if I do this. See? So, it's untying itself. And if you, if you tie it together like that, it doesn't take that much room. It's not easy to tangle up. And you only pull as much as you need, right? Good. Um, you never know when you need more, so I have a couple more. Um, so with some cool items. Machete, 
not bad, but you have to get used uh, you have to get uh, used to it. Uh, it's not it doesn't handle like a like a sword. It doesn't handle like an axe. So you have to learn how to use it right. But uh, the the cool part is really um, once you figure that out, it's very handy. So it even has a metal end to it. It has a fire starter. Fire starter. So click. Um, it ties right onto your belt. It is not that heavy as uh, as it might look, but uh, very stable, very reliable. Goes right in the back. The other two items. So I have seen plenty of saws that, uh, including. So let's try this one first. Gerber, here we go. So it's not the most stable. You see, oops, you see it's not straight. Can you see that? Um, it likes to bend very easily, even though the, I think the teeth are too strong for the width of the blade. So, and it could have been a little bit longer, right? Of course, but <laughs> that's what she said. Um, and it's not, it's not super flimsy, right? But it's not very comfortable to use. I'm, I never got, got uh, it comes handy, but it's not very comfortable. What I like more, and here's a big surprise. I mean, I, I take it as a, as a backup. So here's the, here's the interesting part, is this guy. You can't really bend this. Can you see that? This is a strong. <clears throat> um, I think it's for for drywall. Um, it is not heavy. It is a super strong blade that goes through pretty much everything I've seen so far. Uh, comes with a with a practical sheet sheath, right? Uh, hang it on the tree or hang it on your belt or uh, slide it in your pocket um, so far that's a that's a best saw okay